G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thank you so much for joining me again. I am continuing along my resin journey with the Larimar technique. Really enjoying doing something new and it's a bit of a challenge because you can really get your teeth sunk into this and learn how to create it and like how to do big cells and how to do little cells and yeah like there's a lot to it so yeah i'm really enjoying the challenging the challenge <laughs> all right uh so there's something in there i'm using my live edge coaster mold this is the fine crystal one and oh, i'll talk to you as i as i go get started i'm pouring my white into the base first now I am using my Platinum Ultra Clear because it's a really thin resin um, and this technique is better with a very thin or low viscosity resin which is generally a two to one resin. So yeah that's what I'm doing. I mixed up about half a cup of resin for this, just over half a cup for this size coaster. So yeah started with my white, got some Cast and Craft in that, it's a white pigment paste. Uh, similar to what I would do with my you know, my 3D blooms, uh, that sort of opacity, and oh, got my hair stuck to me. And then I am pouring in my very dark purple. So I'm doing purple and pink. It's very dark purple. Um, it's got a little bit of this um, black pigment paste in it. I just sort of dip my stick in a little bit of that and then just to add a bit of color um, some of the purple resin tint that one's from La Res. and oh gosh more bits dropping in so yeah next one will be my purple puddle here we go into the middle like so and you can see that it goes out and then the white is coming back over the top just empty all that out and you can see the little bubbles collecting there so let's just torch them I'm using my little tiny torch because you know it's it's got a little tiny flame you don't want anything that's going to be too strong um, and melt your mold and then on top of that, I'm doing my pink. Now, I, I did a bit of the hot pink and a little bit of the raspberry. That's octopus fluid and that's ranger. And it was just like, it was like too bright. It was like neon almost, neon pink. So um, I just added a little drop of the purple. I don't know what that's called. It was a, a sample. Bailey, get down. Get down. Bailey's up on my shelves underneath the, um, under the bench. She's climbed up on a shelf. So yeah, that's what I got. So yeah, it's kind of a purpley, pinky kind of color. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then that will go in just on top there. Like so. Get all that out. <laughs> made more bubbles as well. You don't get a lot of bubbles from the, the really thin resins. Cleaning off my sticks as I go so that I can use them again tomorrow or maybe even tonight. When I um, when I use the Ultra Clear, um, I find that I can do another pour later on this afternoon because um, this, and I'm going to just put my leftover clear right in the center there. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, it um, it takes about oh, maybe eight hours. Hopefully, I haven't put too much in there. It takes about eight hours that I can unmold. Uh, because it's quite a deep mold as well. This one, um, it's about half an inch or twelve millimeters deep. Just going in there and pushing all that resin into the, the edges. So because it's a deeper mold, um, the resin is obviously deeper, so it cures faster. If you're doing like a really shallow mold, it might take sort of 18 hours, I guess, to unmold. But because it's a, a deep one, um, 
the resin heats up much faster it cures faster so that you can unmold faster which is great so I can do another one this afternoon and I know I can do another one I can sort of do it over there but if I want to use this space um, I have to only use this little area here um, so yeah I can only do one at a time <laughs> unless I get myself another video um, that holds my camera and put it over there oh my gosh I'm a bit worried that I've overflowed it a bit anyway we'll see what happens um, now you can if you want put some crystals or something in the center I'm not going to um, I am going to because two, two reasons <laughs> because it's a bit full and also because I want it to move faster I'm going to just suck a little bit of resin out of the center mm, it's about five mil okay so I'm just gonna squirt that in there and that automatically starts bringing everything through to the center this is just something that I'm working on I don't know if it's going to work but I've done it with my 3d blooms um, so yeah I'm going to do it with this when it gets a little bit um, set for me in about half an hour I might just come and swirl the middle we'll see we'll see now to clean this out to clean this out um, I'm going to just use some of my isopropyl. I'm not going to pour it near my mold though, in case I splash onto it. And then you'll get these water marks. So make sure your alcohol is way away from it. So basic, and again, I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to, I've got some alcohol in there. I'm just going to draw up, plunge, draw up, plunge until I get that, all that resin out of there. Okay. I'll just do it a couple of times just so that you can see like that. I'll do that a few times and then I'll draw it up and I'll just leave that alcohol in there um, and that'll clean out my syringe and then I can use that again because you know they're expensive they're a couple of dollars each anyway in Australia and uh, you don't want to just waste them don't know about the little dot I don't know why they sort of come up I yeah I don't know not sure anyway let's let's just wait and see what that does I won't do a time lapse. I did a time lapse on my last one, so you could check that out if you want to see how it all changes. Oops, fingers in the way. So that's it there. It kind of the whole the white covers the the whole top, the surface, and then the white kind of starts breaking up and um, creating cells. So hopefully, hopefully that will happen this time. Hey Bailey. Yes. Were you climbing on my shelves, were you? <laughs> yes. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes. Hello, Holly. Hello, Holly. Are you going to say hi? Hello, Bay. <laughs> Hello, Bailey. Hello, Bailey. There's Holly under there, under my shelf. <laughs> and I think we've got little Izzy over here. Hello, Izzy. Hello, baby. She's also, that's her spot. <laughs> yep. Okay, Bailey. All right. So, um, yeah, hopefully it will do its thing. And uh, I will unmold it later on this evening. And hopefully we get pinks and purplish kind of tones. Still we'll get like a smoky grayish because of the black in there. But I'm okay with that. As long as I can see a little bit of pink or purple in there, I'll be happy. See you soon. Okay, so it's a later in the same day. Look at that. I just, I just can't. I have no words. Look. It is just gorgeous. I, because of this, I started making a new mold this morning because I thought I love this side. But because the mold's on an angle sloping down <laughs> you can only really use it the other side being the top so I thought to myself let's make a mold still with the crystal edge the live edge but that's got straight sides all the way around so that you can use the top or the bottom whichever you want um, I don't know if you'll get the same effect um, as you do with the sloping one but I just thought oh, I'll just make it 
just to see because I am in love with that. And it's really light, like the colour, even though I use that really, really dark purple. But who knows what the other side's going to be. But I am in love with this side already. <gasps> no, I, I, just, I guess you could use that side as a coaster, couldn't you? Like, you could, <laughs> even though it's sloping. Oh my gosh, I'm putting it off. I'm putting it off because I don't want to know. I don't because if it's not nice, I'll be upset. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, it worked. It worked. Wow. I don't have that pink though like the pink is different it's so different on this side why are you so different the side's got a lot more white in it wow I guess because the white's heavier you know it does sink that's why you're getting all this this veining and so cool but that's the effect that that you know that everyone's after that veining and that is perfect um, because I've got some little ones and some big ones and I've got like all different sizes. It's not just little ones around the outside um, and then big ones in the middle or vice versa like I had with my green one. That is so cool. Got a little bit of pink th or yeah, pink showing through the center there. The purple, I knew that it was going to do that, give that smoky sort of grayish purpley tone. I do love that side as well though. <laughs> See, this is why I'm making that mould, so we can use either. We could do either, whichever we wanted to do. I wonder if it'll still do that with um, straight sides, though. Don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go and have a look at it with the light behind me. I'll take you down. Okay, let's have a look. Walk this way. Okay, here we go. There, look at that. Oops, don't drop it. I better get a better hold of it. <laughs> there we go. What do you think? So we've got a lot of white around the edge because the white was the first color that went down. So when you poured the other colors into it, the white spread out and, you know, moved up the sides. So that's why you get that white edge and then you get that white lacing. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Is it lacing through the center there, which really picks up the white on the edges. It's so pretty. I can actually see the pink more now. That's the other side. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, Lord God, I don't want to drop it. There we go. Look at that. I did it. That's the other side. How cool. How cool is that? Okay, there we go. All right. Love it, love it, love it. I'm getting better at these, you guys. I'm getting better. Oh, I still want to do like a red and orange, and I don't want to do like a brownish tone as well. So I've got more coming up. What other colors would you like to see? Look at it sparkle. Look at the edges there sparkle. So pretty. Can't really go outside today. It's a cold, overcast, rainy, dark sort of a day. So no point going outside and showing it to you. I'll have to wait till tomorrow or another day. <laughs> Depends if it's still raining tomorrow. All right. There you go. Pop you back down there. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you're not getting too bored of these Larimar effect coasters. Um, I may make myself if I can, like a bigger one, like a tray, so that we can have coasters in a tray. Do you think it'll work on a bigger one? I don't know. I'll have to try it. I'll have to try it and see. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I will see you all again real soon for the next one. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.